is a truck accelerating from rest at a uniform rate and an accelerometer is on it. So let's review the concept of what an accelerometer does. So up here, of course, there's force gravity downwards on this. And uh, we have force tension in the cable going this way. Let's draw this over here for clarity. So here's the ball going this way. Of course, there's force tension. And there's a cable holding it. Remember, the cable we're going to assume is very light. And straight downwards is force gravity. And we'll draw a dash line here. Let's call this theta right here. We want this to be kind of a general equation. Okay. So going straight upwards then here is then going to be force tension in the y direction. Okay. And if we complete our parallelogram, our angle theta is also going to be here. Okay. So how do we use this then to find tension force and acceleration? Well, let's look at this relationship here one more time. We know that these two then would have to be equal to each other in the y direction. So we know that force tension in the y is then going to be equal to mass times gravity, which is what the uh, force of gravity is equal to. Now our angle theta then is adjacent. In other words, our side is adjacent to the angle. Okay, so that means cosine. So we then say the cosine of theta equals the adjacent side, okay, over the hypotenuse. So we're going to say equals mg, okay, divided by force tension. Therefore, force tension is going to equal mg divided by the cosine of theta. Now let's look at this part right here. This is going to be force tension x. Okay, and it's also down here, force tension x. These two sides here of our parallelogram. Now that's going to be the opposite side. Okay, so force tension x is equal to force tension sine of theta. Let's substitute that in. Now remember, here's our expression for force tension. Okay, this is one of the things we're going to need to find. Okay, another thing we want to find is the acceleration. Okay, for the object. Okay, so I'm going to say force tension x then equals. Now I'm going to substitute in force tension where I see uh, this mg cosine theta will sub in right there. So we'll say mg divided by cosine of theta, okay, multiplied by the sine of theta. Okay. So then force tension x is going to equal mg times the tangent of theta. Now let's go back up to the ball here. It's force tension x pointing this way that's actually accelerating the ball. And that would be equal to the truck. So we're going to say the force net on the ball is equal to force tension x. So our force tension x equals mg times the tangent of theta. And we always sub in ma for force net. So I'm going to say mass times acceleration is equal to mg times the tangent of theta. And we can cross off m's on both sides. The accelerometer equation is very easy then. Acceleration is equal to g times the tangent of theta. So now we have our two equations. Force tension is mg over cosine theta. And acceleration is g times tangent theta. And g, of course, being 9.8 meters per second squared.